resize and skew. The second tiny button to the right of the large select button will open the resize and skew dialog. Resize You can quickly resize a selection by dragging any of the little blocks or handles on the selection rectangle. Just hover your cursor over the handle you want to pull or push until a double-ended arrow appears. Press down your mouse button and adjust the shape to your liking. However, if you want the size adjustment to be precise, use the resize dialog, which will appear when you click the resize icon. Only the top half of this dialog is concerned with resizing. Notice the small square mark maintain aspect ratio. While this is ticked, whatever you type into the horizontal slot will be repeated beside vertical and your selection will stay exactly in proportion. Only remove the tick if you want the selection to be fatter or thinner than it is. Skew. The bottom part of the same dialog box invites you to skew your selection. When using this option, make your selection include a lot of border area to avoid having part of the picture chopped off, as has happened here. If this does happen, click undo and make a wider selection before trying again. However, when I tried to skew a heart shape from the shapes gallery, I had some extra color added, apparently from nowhere. How odd. Ah. Now I see. I had red set as color too. I've learned something. Always have your background color most probably white on color too when skewing, moving, or whatever. You'll need to experiment with the skew option. Quite small numbers have a marked effect. This selection has been skewed 30 degrees both horizontally and vertically. The other blue box was skewed 20 degrees horizontally. Rotate or flip. This menu lets you make mirror images of selections, either vertically or horizontally, and it also lets you rotate an item 90 degrees. Making a mirror image is handy if you're trying to draw something that looks symmetrical. Just copy half of the picture, flip it and join it to itself. See making a picture the same on both sides. Invert color. A different set of options is available if you right click on a selection you've made. Items include, cut, copy, paste, crop, select all, invert selection delete, rotate, and resize, but the one that seems to be available on this menu and nowhere else is invert color, the last item on the menu. This is very important if you want to make a black mask with white lettering to create a fancy fill for text.